It's 115 damn degrees outside, but I'm still going to teach you how to become an absolute baller at Las Vegas without having to spend one cent on gambling. Las Vegas is normally a city for the gamblers. Those who spend the most get treated the best. But luckily for us, we have two special tricks up our sleeve that allows us to get the benefits of the heavy gamblers without us actually having to spend one penny of our own money on any kind of gambling. We're inside now because if you actually thought I was gonna film the rest of this video in 115 degree weather, you're insane. So you wanna become a Las Vegas baller, but you don't wanna spend the ridiculous amounts of money. How exactly do we do that? So we got two tricks. The first is casino statuses. These bad boys right here. MGM Gold and Caesars Diamond. These casino statuses will give you benefits at the hotels that are normally reserved for the heavy gamblers. These benefits include waived resort fees on all hotel stays booked direct. Meaning when you see a $10 room for Las Vegas, it's actually $10. They're not gonna hit you with the $99 resort fee and service charge and all that BS. It's actually what it says it is. Another huge perk of these statuses is they both give you priority check-in and priority lines. So when you see that two hour long looking queue just to check in at the Excalibur, you don't actually have to wait in it. They have a little separate line for you with barely any people in it and they will take care of you right away. Another benefit is complimentary parking at all their casinos, regardless if you're staying at that actual hotel. So when you're hopping up and down all the casinos on the strip and you wanna park at the Rio, you don't have to pay more for parking than you would for a room. Additionally, you are supposed to be offered some form of room upgrades. Will you actually get these? Possibly. I've had fairly decent luck at Luxor, Aria, and Park MGM. At Luxor, I was upgraded to the tower. At the other two, it was just a slightly better view. Better than nothing. Overall though, pretty insane perks. Being able to save on resort fees and parking can save you hundreds of dollars on your next Vegas trip. It means that you can pretty much just go to Vegas whenever you feel like it. Because regularly there's like $30 a night rooms at fairly decent hotels. So what would be the smartest way to go out and acquire these statuses? Now you're thinking, wow, Sean, you're such a genius. To get treated better at the casinos, you get casino status. Who would have thought? I probably have to gamble $10,000 a year at the minimum to even have a shot at these statuses. And normally you'd be correct. The casinos obviously like people spending money with them. So normally they'll give statuses to people that spend money. But if you know anything about this channel, I don't like burning money for no reason. So we're not gonna have to spend any money for the status. There's a thing called status matching, where a hotel chain, a flight, a casino company, etc., they have their form of elite statuses. Now, let's say I have some form of elite status with company A. With company A, I allegedly spend a lot of money. So I go to company B and I say, look, I spend a lot of money with company A, clearly because I have this status. Would you, company B, give me your status, and then maybe I will spend money with you. And for company B, this is a smart plan. Company A gives you all these benefits, so why would you spend money with company B? But if company B gives you similar benefits, then you're incentivized to spend money with them too. And this is what both Caesars and MGM do. If you have status with a hotel chain or a similar-ish casino chain, they will match your status. Now, of course, we don't have any casino status. We don't gamble any money. Here's the thing though, Caesars hotels has a partnership with Wyndham Hotels, where if you hold Wyndham status, Caesars will give you their status. While I wouldn't be caught dead spending a night in 99% of Wyndham properties, I'm still able to hold their top tier status. Because I hold this particular credit card, the Wyndham Business Earner Card, if you hold this credit card, they will give you Wyndham Diamond status, which is their top level. You can then take this Wyndham Diamond status and match it over to Caesars Diamond online through their portal. And here's where it gets even better. You go to a physical Caesars casino. You get your physical Caesars player card. You take that player card and take it to a physical MGM casino and they will match you from Caesars Diamond to MGM Gold. Now you've acquired these statuses, but we don't have to want to keep re-earning them. You don't want to go back to Vegas every year in person to keep rematching them. So how can we keep them indefinitely? This is where it gets even more interesting. World of Hyatt has a partnership with MGM Casinos, where if you have MGM Gold status, World of Hyatt will give you their Explorer status, and you can match back and forth between these freely. And there's a special loophole we can utilize here. MGM status expires in January, while World of Hyatt status expires in February. So let's say I currently hold both MGM Gold and World of Hyatt Explorers because I matched them together. When January comes, my MGM Gold expires. But for one more month, I hold World of Hyatt Explorers. I can go back online and match World of Hyatt Explorers over to MGM Gold again, giving me an entire another year of it. So then in a month from then, February, when my World of Hyatt Explorers expires, I just take my MGM Gold, 
match it back over, and I have a full another year of World of Hide Explorist. This is called the status matching merry-go-round. Once you're on it, you can stay on it forever and ever, as long as neither program changes their terms. For Caesars, we do something slightly differently. We just rematch our Wyndham Diamond over to Caesars Diamond every year online. And because we hold the Wyndham credit card, we'll always have Wyndham Diamond. When you hear, oh, you gotta get a credit card, you're probably freaking out. It's probably got a thousand dollar annual fee from some garbage bank like Credit One. What's the deal? Well, this card has a $95 annual fee, but you get enough Wyndham points from it every year to easily offset that fee. And even without that, paying $95 to get two casino statuses is extraordinarily valuable. There's one caveat though. It's a business credit card from Barclays Bank. While everyone can get a business card, that's not the issue. Barclays Bank is a pain to get approved for. It takes some serious willpower and discipline to get one of their business credit cards. You're gonna get denied, you're gonna have to call them up, they're gonna say, okay, we can approve you, but we need to verify your identity. You're gonna have to fax in your social security card, driver's license, and utility bill. They're gonna reject it because the damn card was too bright, even though it wasn't. You're gonna send back in the same image of the social security card, and then they're gonna, for some reason, approve it. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little salty. It was a really annoying process to get approved for. But if you can stomach the time to do that, it's extraordinarily worth it. I told you we had two tricks. I've only given you one. What's the second one? The following is essentially your guide of how to never pay for Las Vegas food again. Because if you hold this credit card, the famous or infamous, depending on your opinion, American Express Platinum card, you have access to a program called Fine Hotels and Resorts. The three main perks of this program, in my opinion, are guaranteed 4 p.m. late checkout, at least a $100 property credit per stay, and complimentary full breakfast for two people per day. So if you utilize this to its full ability, and you check in and check out to a new hotel each day, you'll have effectively $160 of dining credit. It's usually $30 per person for breakfast, and if you stay at the right hotel, you get $100 per stay for dining. This means you can book a $200 room and get $160 in dining credit back, or more potentially. If you stay at the Crockford's Hotel, it's actually $241 in dining credit, but that's a video for another day. If you're gonna get the Platinum card, you gotta do a bunch of research first. It's got a huge annual fee, it's got a bunch of credits to offset it, but it's not something for the faint of heart. That's all I've got for you guys. I wanna hear your plans on exactly how you're gonna become a Las Vegas baller on a budget. I will see you in the next video.